Danny, did you know there's a tangerine emoji on Discord? Well, I do know. Um, it's it's news to me. No orange circle then. I mean, no. That's also good. So uh, there's no good... there's no orange emoji. No. There's a banana emoji. There's two shades of apples, but there's no actual orange fruit there's, emoji. You can have a lemon orange, as well. You can have an orange circle, but you can't have yeah. an orange. Do you know what else is guess... racist though? No limes. Well, I guess that's why they call this tangerine. Yeah. Tony, what's this game? Uh, you've, let's you've, live like Paul. You've seen Bit... Paul before. Paul one. Yeah, this is Paul one actually. Yeah, like, and it doesn't that's... look as polished as Paul two. Oh shit! I need to. I forgot to open my notes. Let me try and open them on the fly. I ignore. Notes. Ignore the alt tab. Okay. Um. What was I going to say? Yeah, so I loaded up Portal on Halloween. It had this. It had a weird error to it. If you know. What I'm yeah. Saying. Me and Scott were talking about like, what the hell are you playing? It just says it error. Just, just said error. Well, yeah, well, it has a picture of Portal, but error. So I assume something went wrong. Yeah, something went wrong. I think you'll. I think you'll see. You'll start to see where my game was bugging in this level. Um, so I definitely there's a lot of glitches in the original Portal, guys. It has to be said, really. But yeah. Wait. So, because it it was it, you could oh what's going on here? Uh, you've hacked the level. No clip. I don't remember this from the original Portal. What's this on the wall? That's how the level. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's been so long since we recorded Tangerines, it's a tangerine from Halloween and I'm playing a horror <laughs> version of Portal. It sounded fun and to be fair it was pretty fun because I was like, I haven't played through the original Portal in fucking years. Yeah. So let me play. It's basically, it, it's pretty, it's pretty much just the default levels but with weird twists and turns to them sort of thing. So it's a... Uh, it was a fun way for me to replay the, the original Portal over again. That's so twisted though, like, they're like it feels completely different. No, because I all of the levels, like the, the layout's exactly the same. Yeah, 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 but like it's like I feel like, yeah, I don't know, just interacting with it weirdly though. Very playing, interesting. Playing through this actually just reminded me of how short the original Portal is. Yeah, it's very I'm, short. I'm sure that when I first played through the original Portal, it probably took me like fucking 20 hours. But playing through it and knowing most of the puzzles, it's like... The original Portal is like an hour or two long, at most. Yeah, not, not a long game. It's not a long game, but I, I assume like... Because at this point I know most of the puzzles. So it, it has to be a lot shorter because I know exactly what I'm doing. Like everyone's played through Portal at this point, I think. I don't think I have, but oh, I've okay. seen a lot of play through Portal. Danny, if you want to play through Portal, I recommend playing through the horror version of Portal. Yeah, I like horror versions of things, so... But yeah. And this is um, pretty cool. One thing I'll say about playing through the original Portal again, it just reminds me how much more I prefer Portal 2, actually. Yeah. I much prefer that... Because some people complained about the physics changes and how the game felt yeah. from Portal... One to Portal Two, but I should, I I much prefer the physics in Portal Two, and I much prefer and the mechanics. I love slime. I also want to say that I I disagree with people saying that like Portal Two is too long. I actually think Portal Two is a really good length. Yeah, Portal Two is quite long I, yeah, in comparison. I just sat down and like played it in two sessions with a friend. Well, I didn't play it obviously, but I was watching someone play it and say, like, yeah, it's just, this feels. I mean, maybe it's different for as an observer, but. That's I know, different. yeah, I, I think, I just feel like Paul is a little bit too short, I'm going to be honest. But, um, yeah, I just saw some mod DB and I was like, I'm in the Halloween, because basically when it came to Halloween, I was like, I'm just going to play a fuck ton of Halloween games sort of thing, because I was getting in the spooky spirit. Because yeah. I tried to cancel, I don't know if you guys know, I tried to cancel Halloween with coronavirus. It didn't work then. But then it backfired because I realised Christmas was coming up, so I had to try and uncancel coronavirus. And, um, yeah. So I got in the spooky spot. What did I play? I'm trying to remember all the Halloween games I played. So I played Phasmophobia. Oh, yeah, yeah. I played Horror Maps on Golf of Your Friends. Oh, what the hell? Um, I played 
I tried to play Doki Doki Literature Club and then quit. Oh, yes. That's um, true. Because I couldn't be fucked. I have actually played um, through quite a lot of Pony Island now, and I will talk about that in a future Tangerine. Um, but yeah, so I played some. I've I played Blackout Club, but I did not play it around Halloween. I uh, well, I may I may have got it in the autumn sale, not the Halloween sale sort of thing. So yeah, I played that oh, like, later sort of thing. Steam has it. Steam started having like lots of sales really close to each other now because they had it went from the Halloween sale to the autumn sale into the. Ste the into the winter sale will be at Christmas time. So we've got like three sales that are like right next to each other sort of thing. Yeah, I don't really understand. And then guess what? We'll have like the New Year's sale as well, probably. Yeah. So yeah. If you miss one of the sales, don't worry guys. Just wait for the next one. They're almost like um, cyclical at this point. Y you can w you can know like the exact time a, s a sale's going to start. It always gets leaked. Somehow... Well, I don't know. Do we need? Did we need like? I don't. I never understood the links of like telling me when the Halloween and Christmas sales are gonna be. Like that, it's gonna be around Christmas and Halloween. Like, what? What more do you want to know? Okay, if you wanna, if you wanted to play this poor mod, it's called Error. It's on Mod DB. And one thing I will mention, I guess it's a slight spoiler for the mod. Um, right, closer is you don't want to spoil. Closer is if you don't want to spoil it for the mod, because I guess this changes how you play the game. Um. Somebody in the comments mentioned there's no, there's no jump scares pretty much. So, there's there's gonna be no like girl screaming at you randomly, which I appreciate. I prefer yeah. horror games like this where there's atmosphere over just yeah. Ah, spooky girl in your face screaming all the time, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. I think I think yeah, I think if because you can still get away with like monsters or like things that are like out of your view or like not quite in your view sort of thing. That this that was pretty well for me. I much for a game like uh, Bioshock, where the atmosphere yeah. of Rapture is terrifying. Well, even the the the, well, the, the enemies in that can be terrifying as yeah. well. Like, the way they place them throughout the level. I don't know. Different strokes, different folks, really. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's is pretty popular, so maybe we're wrong. Yeah, but if basically if you were like me and you're like, man, I want to play through the original Paul again just to see like just to play through again sort of thing and you like put a new lick of paint on it sort of thing um oh the guy there look at that guy yeah uh, definitely like that. check out the error mod it's a pretty fun way to replay through the original portal and uh yeah let's uh move on to the next game let's get right into it i don't have audio for this one this is rogue company it is a oh, okay. co-op um well, I wouldn't say it's a it's a p it's a PvP okay. shoot third person shooter get tactical shooter game. That's a good intro. We know who everyone is. It does it's that in every game, sort of thing. Yeah, I would say like it's that. a little similar to Counter Strike, where oh, really? you go okay. on. Well, in terms of you buy guns, you go yeah. onto a map, you contest over an objective, and there's rounds, sort of thing. That's like the closest game, or like. Valorant probably a bit closer because there's abilities. Oh, you jump out of a thing, yeah. Basically, my friend said to me, "Oh, this game is free to play. It's a free to play game on the Epic Games Launcher. Do you want to play?" And I'm like, "Well, it's a free to play game. I've got nothing to lose, so we just play it for a bit." And <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, it was pretty fun for a while to play this game. Like, it was just, it was just. It wasn't a game I was like enamored with, where I was like, "Oh, it's really fun. I want to play this." It was more, "Oh, it's a free-to-play game. That I'm just playing with some friends. It's good to play games that all that all my friends have, and we can just hop on, sort of thing." Um, yeah, but overall, the game is pretty fun. Uh, this is the diffuse. Uh, I'm showing I'm showing off the options menu here on purpose, guys. Oh, very, I'm definitely yeah, not yeah. rebinding my keys <laughs> mid-game because I don't know what's happening. I always hate that in games where they have interactions on F instead of E. Why is that a problem? Because I always use E. I've always used okay. E. So whenever you try and make me use F, well, what, it really What was on me. E by default, though? Like, maybe it makes sense. It switched them. I don't know. I can go back. we got to go back. 
My uh, he it. was on toggle shoulder, which makes sense. Yeah, because you go. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind that. Like, but I like, usually if e makes sense to use. Like I'm okay with being on F. It's like when games try and make me use con- C to crouch instead of control. Yeah, that I don't understand. How about control to sprint? That's my main. So the character I'm playing is called Dima. I think I got like mastery on the champion. Where if you play a champion enough, basically you start unlocking cosmetics for them and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, one of the big changes I would say that I don't know if I liked between CS:GO is in a game like Counter Strike or Valorant, if you have a gun, for example, and you die with a gun, you drop the gun and then you respawn with nothing. Um, but oh. in Rogue Company, you buy permanent upgrades. So as soon as you buy an AK, you spawn every round with an AK sort you of thing. Do still drop the weapon for enemies? Yes, but you, if you okay. pick up somebody else's weapon, you only use it for that round. You don't yeah, 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 get yeah. it um, the next round. That sort of see, thing. that makes sense to me. Like That's kind of what I'd expect, actually. I think... Uh, so I was playing this with some friends like um, Halo Andy... Um, wrestling that and uh, Vietnam Dave. I think Vietnam Dave played this game a lot, um, but then as soon as everyone's interest petered off, he stopped playing it. I think he really liked this game because he said it's the one game I'm good at. And I was like, <laughs> okay. and I was like, I think this game might be. I, I don't like saying games are going to be dead, but I was like, I don't think there's going to be many people playing this game in like a month from when we were playing this sort of thing. Because they've they've tried to do they've done like big marketing pushes like obviously like when they were advertising the game I think the first place I saw it was they did a big marketing campaign on Doctor Disrespect stream and then they even oh, went yeah, as far as in this game they ad- basically they added the Champions Club like they basically made the Doctor Disrespect update the entire update was the Doctor Disrespect update where you could get a Doctor Disrespect skin on his character which I think is Ace or whatever he's called. Um, and then basically they made a 1v1 game mode for him sort of thing. So it was like, when you start making content for content creators that early, that kind of says to me, that's kind of, it feels a bit like desperate advertising where they're like, we need people to come to the door. We have to put someone's face on this name so we can get people yeah. to come and play it sort of thing. But is it, I don't know, like, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. It might just, like, they just think that's how they have to get the, yeah, the, 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 I mean, the optics, as they would say. Honestly, the game is pretty fun. Um, there's lot, there's a, a few game modes. So this is the, I think the, the one it seems like most people like to play. I liked the game mode where I can't remember what it was called because I haven't played this in a while now and been a while since we But there was one basically where you just flew into the map and there was a random objective um, on the map and it was more like team deathmatch basically. Uh, it was very much not as objective-based sort of thing, which I preferred because I'm not a huge fan of like CS:GO where it's very slow and you have to take the objectives. But oh, okay. almost every... I quite like objectives in games. I don't know why. Well, or, the thing I... about this game is almost uh, the, even that map has an objective, and you oh, can okay. win through That's the objective. Cool. This game is um, it only has objective modes really, hmm. sort of thing. I think even in the 1v1, there's a capture point you can capture to make sure people don't just camp or keep running away from you sort of does, thing. Yeah, does it like give you extra stuff if you take it? No, is if it you... it just preventing... If, 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 so if you capture the point, you win the round sort of thing. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. So you still have to... Okay, sure. It's to stop people from just sitting in a corner and going, I'm not going to fight you. And then the yeah. other person goes, well, I'm going to go capture the point. Sort Basically, you can't really win with it, but it forces people to be in the middle. That makes sense. I no, like you that can win with it. You can you can go and capture the objective and you win. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think the thing that kind of killed my enjoyment of this game was the monetization. Right, uh, okay. Basically, you would have to pay... I played, I don't know, probably like 10 hours plus, and I I didn't have enough money to unlock a new um, champion character. I can't remember what they called. Um, I can't remember what they called. But basically, you get like four champions by default, and then the rest of them are locked off to you. And the amount mm. of time you'd have to play to even unlock one character is pretty like ridiculous. 
So okay. that's what kind of killed off my enjoyment of the game was it's like, well, I've played all these characters. I'd like to play a different character, but I can't afford to buy them with the in-game currency. Yeah. Obviously, it's set up as a free-to-play game, so they want you to buy the new characters of money. But I, I'm more, I more prefer the ones where they're like, hey, we're a free-to-play game. You can buy some skins on the side if you really want to yeah. support us rather than locking characters behind. I, I mean, they do give you a free-to-play way to unlock the characters, of course. It's not impossible. It's just it's so grindy it might as well be sort of thing, to yeah. me at least. So like Darth um, Vader and original Battlefront 2 launch. I, I don't know about that, but maybe. That was ludicrous. Hmm. It's not like 30 hours or 40 hours on Lockdown Vader back then. And it's like, holy shit. No, I don't think it's that bad, but it's still not... Okay. It's not good. It doesn't feel good. Um, but yeah, I think... I don't know. I'm not playing well, it now, and I don't really have any interest in playing it again, but it's it's sort of one of those games where I'd say, hey, if you're someone who has a bunch of friends and you're looking for a game to kill some time on, play this game. Um, yeah, I, I but I it's look at this, but I'm not my player guy, unfortunately. Mm. So. It's it's a good it's a good free to play game on the Epic Launcher. Mm. Um, you can just download and play with your friends for a bit, and when you get bored of it, play something else because <laughs> yeah. not everyone can afford to buy the. Not everyone can afford to be playing Cyberpunk right now. So, or if, skins. Yeah. So if you just if you're looking for like a game to waste some time on, or it it, it was pretty fun from the time I had. And there is there was enough variety to keep me going for a while until I hit the point where I couldn't unlock anything, the, any the more characters. Cap. Yeah. So yeah, um, I'd recommend Paul there and a slight recommendation to Rogue Company if, if that's your sort of thing. But yeah, Tangerine, goodbye. Tangerine.